Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick, for those of you who don't already know. You can follow me on Instagram at Patrick underscore dreams. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any very important content regarding fashion, makeup, health, fitness, and more. So let's get started. Today I'll be doing a wig review on a wig that I bought with my own coins. You know, no sponsorship, no free materials. Uh, this wig isn't all, all that's expensive to begin with. So, you know, it's not like a huge loss. I'm not saying it's a loss. We'll get to that in a moment. But anyways, today we'll be doing a wig review on a model model wig. And model model is a typical uh, beauty supply store um, hair brand or synthetic hair brand. And, you know, it's, it's a household name. It's like everybody knows what model model is because it's one of the top and first companies that came out with synthetic hair and you know just started the game to begin with so everybody knows what model model is okay so today we're going to be doing a review on a wig from their mint collection um it's in the style m-03 and it's in the color too so it came in your typical packaging um uh, very simple packaging compared to some other um packaging that I have experienced in my journey on so this packaging is simple compared to other packaging sometimes they have stuff to keep it in shape sometimes they have stuff to keep the lace intact it's just depending on you know the wig and the construction of it you know wigs are becoming more complex as time goes on so it's important to keep the wigs in you know a proper appearance because who wants to buy a wig that's not together no one okay so okay reading the card it came with the card it's safe up to 400 degrees with a curling iron and i guess that will also include a flat iron as well and now i'm going to tell you what colors it came in and i'm going to read the card to you so they have ice one hot copper cherry cola honey butter 1B, Cherry, and Honey Brown. And apparently 2, even though it's not listed. So, yeah. So, it says, Mint Wig, Refresh Your Daily Look. Washing Instruction. Before washing hair, brush out all tangles starting from the bottom and work up to the weft. For curly hair, do not brush. Finger combs remove all tangles. Fill the sink or large container with lukewarm water and synthetic wig shampoo. Switch to shampoo, wig and shampoo and wash gently. Apply weight conditioner, allow the fiber to absorb the conditioner for a couple of minutes, then rinse out thoroughly. Gently squeeze excess water out of the wig. Do not rub or twist the wig. Pat dry and clean with a towel. Pl place the wig on a wig stand and let air dry. So, typical um, wig care instructions that come with most typical wigs, including human hair wigs. Um, and like I said, the packaging was pretty simple. It came in your typical plastic bag, you know, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, nothing brand new. So, um, definitely, you know, packaged well. No complaints yeah, here. Did it. No complaints here regarding the packaging. So, I'm gonna reach over here and get the packaging that it well. came in. Sorry, guys. And so, first things first, um, the wig does not have combs. It is a quick weave or cap wig, so you just slide it on, but it does have adjustable straps, so if you need to adjust it, then you will be able to adjust it. Um, my initial impression is the hair texture is more of a yakky texture. I've had plenty of bob wigs, because I love bobs, and, you know, I think bobs have a certain look that I like. I feel like it's professional. Typically, you will see a female lawyer with the bob or someone of that nature or, you know, something like that. So, I've always felt like bobs have been um, a major thing for me. So, okay. So, like I said, um, the inside is kind of breathable. Um, the construction inside is very neat. You know, no weird threads, no bad sewing or anything of that nature. Um... And the bang, it's like, uh, if you've ever, you know, when sewing first started getting popular, basically people would have it sewed in a pattern, that middle piece, and it would look like a little swirl at the top. That's basically how it's constructed. Um, of course, it's made of wefts, so all wigs are made of wefts of some kind. Saying earlier, um, they've moved on to more complex methods of creating wigs now. I mean, um, there's 13 by 4 
lace front wigs now. There's five inch lace parts. There's multiple lace parts. There's side parts. They have definitely moved up in the last couple of years to step up their game to match the human hair wig game. So my initial impressions are that it is a definite yakky texture, but it wouldn't be a wig that you would wear every single day. It would be a special occasion wig or I'm going to the grocery store wig or a wig for cosplay, but definitely not something that you would wear every day because based on the quality, and by quality, I don't mean it's a bad quality wig. I just mean the fibers that it's made from. This wouldn't be something that you would wear every day because it would quickly deteriorate and mess up. Um, like I, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I don't have any like tangling or shedding or anything like that. It's a cap wig, um, a quick weave wig, whatever you want to call it, quick cap wig. Um, and it has that breathable mesh interior. But it's just not something that you would wear on a daily. Um, if you do want to know what kind of wig you can wear on a daily, without the bang, I do have another wig that I was working on a review for, but I never got a chance to complete that review. And that was the another wig I'm just going to mention in another video because I don't want to mess up this video by taking away from this wig. Um, again, this is in color number two. I didn't do anything to it. It's a cap wig, so you can see that little center part back there, I think. It's like right here and it does that little swirl um, I didn't do anything to the wig I just brushed it with a wide toothbrush and that's pretty much it I didn't spray it I didn't put anything on it this is definitely not one of those wigs that are really shiny and sleek um, this definitely has some more of a matte dull look to it so you really wouldn't have to use any um, dry spray or dry shampoo or anything like that it's pretty much already in a good condition like it's it's what I would expect from human hair. Like, I would expect a shine to it, but not, like, a severe shine to the point where you're like, is that a wig? It's more of a, just, like, a natural shine. It's a natural texture. If someone ran their hands through it, they wouldn't say, oh, this is a wig. They would probably think that it was your typical average person's hair. Uh, obviously, they might be able to tell it's a wig. I mean, wig wearers no wigs. So, I mean, like, the little part in the middle... Um, you could even pass it off for a sew-in, as long as someone touches your head, of course, because we don't want that. And so, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, for the price, I think the price range was anywhere from $12 to $14, $15, depending on where you get it. I got this from ebonyline.com, so, I mean, I love their site. I used to shop at Sam's Beauty. I still shop at Sam's Beauty occasionally, but lately I've just been using Ebony Line because they are legit, and, um... They always get my stuff sent out. Sometimes they do have a delay when it in regards to shipping things out. But they always make sure I get my items. So that's not a problem. And I contact customer service and they respond. And usually when they respond, I get my tracking number back. That could be a problem for some people, as I've noted, in some hair groups. But for me, as long as I contact customer service and they get back to me and they're, you know, they get everything back to me on a um, good basis, that's fine. I do know that some companies use different methods to ship out their items. I definitely definitely know sometimes they're out of stock. And if you do want an item, they can order it from the manufacturer. So that's my experience with Ebony Line. Um, so far, no issues. No, you know, you know, really significant issues. You know, just besides tracking. And it's COVID-19, so obviously there will be a shipping delay but there have been some people in the past who have said they had problems regarding the shipping um not being on time but so far you know other than that as long as i contact customer service they're usually very kind and nice and they get back to me on a um good time like i'll contact them and they'll get back to me within one to two days i've never had to contact them and not have them contact me back within that time frame so so far, so good. I haven't worn it out of the house yet, but I do intend to wear it out of the house or for a photo shoot. I mean, if you want to have something quick for a photo shoots or something like that, where you don't have to get your hair done by like a major hairstylist or get a whole style done for like $500, $300, $200, however much you usually pay typically. I am having to record my video in segments. So as I was saying, um, if you're someone who wants a style for a photo shoot or something quick, I mean, that's what they are. I mean, it's a quick cap, quick weave wig, 
cap wig, whatever you want to call it. For wigs in general, like, when it comes to the synthetic wig game, they want you to be able to quickly style your wig the way you want it and, you know, to be able to move on. Now, there are straight synthetic wigs, but I feel like what differentiates human hair from synthetic hair is that most of the time when you get a synthetic wig, it's pre-styled. It's styled the way it's meant to be and it's styled the way it's going to be. That's not to say you can't alter it. Like I said, it's safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but, you know... Most of the time, you know, it's not that good to alter certain qualities of synthetic hair that often because depending on the quality of the synthetic hair, it can leave the hair like less than desirable or it can make a change in the structure of the hair. Human hair is technically, you know, dead. It's made of keratin and protein. But when it comes to synthetic hair, we're, we're talking about plastic fibers. So that's a important note to keep. Will it hold certain styles? Depends on the hair. Um, if I wanted to, I could probably, like, bump up the ends. Like, take a curling iron or a flat iron and, you know, make it curve under. I could even curl a few tendrils at the front to make it more, you know, stylish if I get tired of just, like, the basic look. Um, I know most people tell you that you can't really alter a synthetic wig like this one because it's not made of lace, but that's actually not true. It depends upon your creativity and your level of creativity in order to be able to alter this wig. So what I would do is if I wanted to create an impression, if I want to put to like two pigtails, I would take this little piece right here. I would get a rubber band or something like that. And I would do the same thing on the other side. Or I would spin it around and make tiny little buns in my hair. Like the possibilities are endless. It's, it, your hair goes as far as your creativity goes. So that's all I can say on that. I'm pretty sure I mentioned the colors before, but just to make sure they have it, let's just say, I mean, there are different names, but they have it in a blonde color, they have it in a copper color, they have it in a cherry color, brown color, it's a brown color. They have it in a honey butter color that's a lighter um, version of a blonde, not a lighter version of a blonde, but it's a lighter version of the honey brown. So if you imagine honey brown with more lighter tones instead of those coppery brown orange tones that's what that looks like and they have red which is called cherry and they have one b of course always have one b and that's that and i'll show you the card right here so you can look at it i don't know if i can get my camera to focus but yeah so there's that and so my final opinion on this wig before i show you the rest of, like i'll turn to the side let you see and stuff but my final opinion on this wig is yes it's definitely worth the price that you're going to pay but you're gonna have to think of it in terms of a uh special occasion wig a grocery shopping wig or a like cosplay wig that's how you're gonna have to think about this wig in terms of it's a good wig you can wear it every day if you want to but that's only based upon your level of ability so whenever it gets tangled Whenever it gets messed up, you're going to have to be the one to fix it. So if you're wearing it every day, for example, my mom was a personal care aide. She was also a CNA. A lot of her wigs she wore every week, every day. She would just throw on a wig, go to work, and that's her wig for the week. Did, and, you know, the wigs were pretty good. They stayed in pretty good condition. So, yeah, you could definitely wear, you could definitely wear this wig on a similar basis like if you, if you wanted to wear this wig to work as a cna i wouldn't i wouldn't blame you okay everybody wants to look good at work i mean it's just thing human beings want to look good so you could definitely wear this at work if you wanted to but i wouldn't advise it because quickly this wig is going to become stiff it's already slightly stiff currently um it's a yakky texture so it's already have a slight stiffness to it even though it has movement and body it still has a slight stiffness to it. Like, if I could take this and just bend it in half, and it would just flop right back. So, yeah. So, definitely, this would, this would become tangled very easily. I say within about two to three weeks, you would start to see it stiffen up a little bit more. And after a month or two, it would be a little more stiff. And about after about three to six months, you have that completely stiff. You know, the ends start to tangle up. And when you brush the, um, when you brush the wig, if you didn't know, like I said, this is not a everyday wig. I've had to say this several times. So this is not an everyday wig. It's more of like, one second. 
my dog is very upset that he's not in here. I'm so sorry. So anyways, it's more of a yakky texture. Um, final say, uh, I definitely say this wig is worth buying for the price. Um, like I said before, it's a cosplay type special occasion type wig. You can definitely wear it every day if you want to, but just know the quality of life is going to lower the more you wear it. You know, if you wear it all day versus wearing it every special occasion or taking it off at night and maybe going to the grocery store the next day. Something of that nature. Definitely worth the price. I'll end up putting the link down below. Um, like I was saying earlier, I ordered from Ebony Line and usually I have no issues. Um, some issues would be delayed shipping, but of course that's understandable with COVID-19. And in the past, if I had an issue with shipping, all I had to do was contact customer service. And they were very nice and kind about sending me my tracking number within one to two days. Some people want it immediately, but I'm fine with that. No problem at all whatsoever. So, if you have any other questions, please leave them in my comment section down below. And I'll get right back to them whenever I can or whenever I'm available. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And follow me on Instagram, Patrick underscore dreams, which will, I will also link in my description box below. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope I see you again next time for one of my other videos or one of my other reviews. Bye.